Okay, so welcome sa ating class for today. And as mentioned kagabi, ang ating topic for discussion today is about how to fill up the forms. Ano yung forms uli ng, ano, ng oral practical examination, would you know? Ano yung una? Ano yung unang form gagamitin natin pag uh, ano natin? Sa pre-massage, ano form? form ha? Intake form. Intake form. Quiet intake form. Yung pangalawa, massage therapy, massage therapy form or SOAP form. Ano nga ibig sabihin ng SOAP? Subjective. Objective. Objective. Assessment. Assessment plan. plan. Okay. So, yun sa SOAP form. Yung... Anong form ang gagamitin natin sa post-massage? Ito yung post-evaluation form. So mamaya is himahimayin natin. And then, uh, pakiready po na inyong spill. Uh, if you remember, nag-assign ako sa inyo ng, ng spill na gagawin nyo. Uh, ibig sabihin nyo, ano yung sasabihin nyo during your oral practical examination. So, technically, para itong ano eh, can presentation. Ibig sabihin nung nakakahon na siya, kaya lang, katulad ng sinasabi ko, I want it done by through your own words para hindi kayo mabubulol at mas mas ano mas uh, komportable kayo ibigkas. No? So, I would like to ask volunteers oh, for today. Any question? Well, uh, sir, uh, yes, mapasahin mo pa yung spill? Oo, pwede basahin muna. Basahin okay, lang. Sige, sige, sir. Okay. Po. Walang okay. problema. Basta at least may na-ready na kayong spill. Meron na, sir. Oo. Yes, sir. Kapag babasahin nyo, I would, I would appreciate na mag-ano kayo, ha? Uh, tawag nun. Uh, Mag-video kayo. No? Pakita kayo para. Ah! So with, with, ano yun, ha? With the expression yun. Kunwari, ang kausap ninyo, assessor ninyo, pero binabasa nyo lang yung sasabihin ninyo. Para mas ano natin, para mas feel yun natin yung ating presentation. Although, babasahin nyo rin ha. So, I would I be asking those who are ready para ma-check din natin. Uh, mas mag maganda nga kung, kung ma makorek kayo the way you present yourself para ngayon pala alam na natin kung paano yung inyong presentation. Sir, paano kung wala namang, wala namang kaming ano, ah, model, wala namang assessor, kami lang. As in solo okay. spill nga babasahin niya yung spill. Ah, okay. So, yung, yung ano lang ba what I'm saying here is uh, magpakita lang kayo sa inyo video. Uh, yun. Ah, Para okay. makita ko rin yung facial expression. Mas importante yun eh. When you deliver dapat aware tayo sa ating facial expression kasi akala natin nakangiti tayo yung pala the way we deliver ano pala intimidating. No, ah, okay. Or, okay. Uh, hindi ka nakangiti feeling mo nakangiti ka kasi yun nga uh, yung, yung assessor mo kasi will just react on the way you present yourself so, yun yung ano natin yun yung ating purpose anyway so ang una natin gagawin muna pupunta tayo dun sa ating presentation I will present to you, to you the three forms uh, isa-isahin natin and then I will point out to you ano yung mga highlights No, kasi hindi naman, for me personally, hindi naman dapat lahat yun na-fill upan. For purposes of presentation only, uh, kaya kailangan nating gawin ito. No? At least alam nyo lang kung ano yung mga highlights, ika nga sa paggamit ng form. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So, punta na tayo dun sa ating presentation. Yeah, yeah punta tayo sa ating presentation. Dito, di ba? No, nandyan yung letterhead. And then on the upper right corner nandoon yung nilagay yung ano yung examination examine number and then there are a lot of questions itong form na ito revised na ito no kasi baka may ma-encounter kayo na ibang form ng DOH yung mula doon sa licensure performance protocol or LPP medyo hindi pareho kasi mahaba-haba yun nung araw ito naman medyo concise na siya in fact isang page lang siya no yung ating client information form. Okay. So dito yung client name and then you have the date of birth, address, phones, and then occupation, email of other activities, no? Name of person, notify in case of emergency. 
Okay, the question number one is, please answer the following questions truthfully. So what is your general state of health? Para exam, ano? And then, sabi niya, okay naman, o medyo may problema ng konti, parang gano'n. No? So generic yung, yung description na gagamitin natin. Do you have problems with blood pressure? Okay, so yes or no lang naman to. Do you have serious or chronic illness, operations, chronic virus infections, etc.? Are you in recovery for drug addictions or the addictions or abuse? And so on and so forth. No, sa bandang huli, makikita natin dito, I have completed this information form to the best of my knowledge. I understand that uh, massage is designed etc 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 no so ito yung disclaimer okay now question paano natin sasagutin during the exam so kung titingnan natin ito this is an ideal client intake form no sa so, diyos ang tao nila ito masas client information form so this is an ideal client intake form kaya lang during the exam if you remember Lagi natin sinasabi, ang binibigay ng DOE sa inyo sa oral practical is barely 5 to 15 minutes. Ibig sabihin nun, within that period of time, dapat ma-perform ninyo ang dapat i-perform. Ngayon, this is a good guide. Kaya lang during the exam, as I said, uh, pag kinuha nyo yung pangalan, by the way, huwag nyo ibibigay ang form na ito sa model. No? Huwag niyo ibibigay yung form na ito sa model at lalo na kinakailangan niyo itong nakalagay sa isang clipboard no? para madaling sulatan. Okay. Bakit hindi natin ito ibibigay sa model? Pag binigay mo sa model ang forms, lahat ng forms, no? hindi lang yung client intake form. Pag binigay mo sa model lahat ng forms, probably tatagal ka ng bahagya. Bakit? Kasi, di ba, baka mamaya susulatan niya lahat ng information no o mamaya pag sumagot sa sa question gagawin niya isang paragraph salip na word or salip na sentence yung ganon. so medyo hahaba no so i will suggest i will suggest when you use these forms hangga't maaari hawak niyo ang form all you have to do is ask your model kung ano yung mga content na dapat uh, gusto mo mailagay sa iyong hawak na form Okay? So, this will speed up the process. Unlike kung ibibigay mo yung form sa model, then mamaya mag-detectate ka pa, ano'y susulat, and then pag sumulat siya, mahabang-maba, or baka mamaya hindi mo mababasa yung kanyang mga, mga, ano, mga pinagsusulat. Okay? So, for me, ang critical lang dito is, number one, just the name. When you use the name, when you get the name, pwede na yung nickname no wag naman yung mahaba na complete name hindi naman yung kailangan ng DOH no just the name perhaps you put in the birthday and then proceed ka na doon sa kanyang uh, general state of health ganun no hindi mo na kailangang i-fill up lahat ng mga information i'm sorry Pwede pa kizum po konte. Ah, uh, yan. Okay. General state of health. Yung yung generic lang na information about kumusta siya. No, di ba? <clears throat> sa spill nyo, di ba? Yung sabi natin pag upo ng model, una mong tanong sa kanya, kumusta po kayo, ma'am? Bakit kayo na parito sa aming sa aming clinic o sa aming spa? Di ba? Doon mo makuha yung kanyang state of health. Pag sinabi niyang okay naman ako, wala naman ako masyadong problema, then uh, you may proceed, no? Ganun lang. Basta ang importante lang is yung yung generic information. So I do not suggest na lahat ito sasagutin niyo ha. Okay? So probably ito lang, no? Uh, gawan niyo lang ng inyong pangalan and then your signature. So if you look at this once again, pangalan niya birthday and general state of health and then yung inyong perma yung signature okay so ito lang muna ito lang ang ano natin para mas speed up natin yung process okay so that's all about the client intake form or the massage client information form 
Any question dito? Wala naman po, sir. Ayan. So, sir, so ibig sabihin nun, we can... I'm sorry? Kailangan pa yan po ng number, sir? Ah, uh, isa-isa lang hindi ko ano, hindi ko naintindihan. Isa-isa lang magsasalita. Ano 'yon? Phone number, sir. Wala na, wala na, wala na, wala na 'yung mga ganung detalye, no? O wala na 'yung ganung detalye. Basta ang akin lang dito is uh, simplify lang natin kasi ito ay for purposes of the examination. Okay? An Anji. Thank you. Go ahead, yes. Yeah, ay. 'yung ano, sir, sa Oh. Ano yun? Nag-chopy ka, Ansh? Saan ang nakukuha yan para print out? Nasa manual nyo. Nasa manual nyo. Page. Anong page ba yun? Sino nakakaalam nyo sa anong page? Maliit ka rin. May nasand na naman ang link si Sir, di ba? Uh, ano yung Ansh? Uli Ansh, ano yun? Nasa 174, Sir. Nasa link yan, 175, 176. Ah, nandun sa 174 to 176. Yes, Ans, go ahead. Yes, pero ano ka, print natin, malabo siya. Ah, okay. Malabo siya, no? So, sige lang, try ko. If we have time, gawa ako ng kahit na ano lang siguro, guide na lang. And then send it to you. No, kasi yung sa manual, totoo yun, medyo, kung ipiprint nyo, medyo malabo na siya, hindi na siya masyadong mababasa. Malabo, so, hindi ba may sinend na po na, ano, na link? Ito uh, po sa form? Isa-isa lang po. Ano po yun? Uh, sino yun? Si Rodel? Ano yung Del? Uh, wala naman po akong tanong, sir. Okay naman uh, po ako na ito. Uh, Raymar, sino yung nagtatanong si Raymar? Uh, sir, yung nagtatanong about dun sa form, may sinend na po kayo sa GC. Pwede naman po iprint na yun. Ah, uh, medyo malino na ba 'yon? Yung pinadala ko yun, sila maganda po 'yon, parang copy talaga siya original copy. Ah, sige sige. So check niyo na lang 'yon, no, yung pinadala ko. Eh, iba cream ba 'yon? Tatlong form 'yon, sir. Oh, tatlong forms, tatlong forms. Okay. Proceed tayo sa next form. So the next the next form is massage therapy SOAP form. Okay, saan to gagamitin? Kailan nyo ito gagamitin? Again, kasama pa... Oo. Kasama pa rin ito dito sa ating pre-massage, no? Yung massage therapy form. Okay? So, if you could look at this one, you could see the subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. Again, kung titinan ninyo, medyo madami siyang detalye, di ba? Kuha nyo, marami siyang detalye. Ang gusto ko lang na dapat nating lagyan ng entry ay sa part ng objective. Pero dito naman sa subjective, di ba yung generic information lang regarding sa state of health. Kanina may tanong tayo doon, di ba? Kumusta po ang inyo pong karamdaman sa ngayon? Ano po ang inyong nararamdaman sa ngayon? How are you physically? Kumusta po kayo? No, so dito niyo lang po ilalagay, no. Pwede niyo sabihin na I'm good. Ah, uh, I am I am okay, no? Ah, uh, fi generally fit, okay, ganon. So, maiksi lang. Okay? You don't have to fill this fill this up. Medyo haba po 'yan. <laughs> Diretso na tayo ng objective, ito na 'yon, no? Sa ating ano Uh, dito na entry lang ang ating papansinin. Yung BP, yung pulse, yung respiratory rate, and body temperature. Okay? I will not, I will not suggest na ano nyo na itong iba dito. No? Uh, pasukan nyo na. Ano, wag na. Wag na nyo na pasukin yung ibang mga parts ng form na yan. Importante lang sa atin dito yung BP, yung kanyang pulse rate, And then respiratory rate. Ito lang na part ang okay sa atin. Okay? And then, of course, assessment. Pwede nyo naman ilagay dyan na fit for massage.
So it's okay, you know, fit for massage. Ano na 'yon? And then ang anong gagawin mo? Bibigyan mo siya ng ng uh, wellness massage. Ayan. So yan yung iyong plan. Nakuha natin. No? So again, uh, we have to ano, we just have to try to simplify as much as possible. Importante lang mayroon tayong guide Pwede nating susundin, gamitin natin sa ating respective na mga spa. Pero sa DOJ exam, uh, focus lang tayo doon sa major uh, concerns, no? Sa major component which is dito lang sa ano na sa vital signs taking. Okay? Fit for massage and wellness massage Yan natin sa ating client. Okay. So any question on the on this form? Not even this one, wag na nating ano, no? Except lang ito, pwede lang nating gamitin itong part na 'yan. This one kung mayroon siyang sinasabi pag nag-mention na siya anong kanyang uh, physical conditions. Halimbawa, sasabihin niya mayroon siyang back pain. O ipare do drawing niyo lang kung saan yung back na may pain. No? So, Pakimute po pag medyo maingay yung paligid niyo ha. Ah, may maingay po sa atin. Okay, zing po maingay. Okay, paki ano po yung ingay? Na distract yung ating recording. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, ito lang ang ano natin sa ating uh, SOAP form. Any question so far? Wala naman. Ayan. Okay. Again, the rule of thumb is keep it simple. No? Gawin lang natin simple. Uh, burahin ko muna before you proceed to the next one kasi mas save siya eh. So wag kayong masyadong ma-intimidate sa form kasi sa totoo lang naman hindi naman talaga to uh, hindi masyado big deal sa exam ng DOH. Okay, ito naman ang panghuli. Ito yung tinatawag natin na post massage post massage evaluation form. So pag sinabing post massage, ito ay pagkatapos ng masahe. If you remember, may dalawang component yung post massage, no? yung uh, aftercare tsaka yung documentation. Okay. So, in the past, na-discuss na natin yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Diba? Pag sinabi natin aftercare, yung mga pwede natin ibigay na health advice sa ating clients para mapanatiling healthy yung kanilang pangangatawan like drinking plenty of water, taking enough amount of rest, no? eating um ay nataw niyan mga masustansya pagkain yung mga ganon. No? so yun yung bahagi ng ating uh, post massage and then this one so this is the evaluation form okay so again if you look at this one marami na naman siyang drawing no in fact mayroon siyang category ng pain rating physical comfort emotional uh, taw noon comfort fatigue no during massage and after massage So sa akin, sa akin unless kung ano, uh, medyo maging meticulous yung assessor, then pwede mo siyang fill up pa, no? Pero hangga't maari, pwede namang madalian lang, no? Dito na tayo sa ako sa tingin ko, yung emotional comfort, no? Hindi mabasa masyado, very Basa nyo ba? Para hindi ko na mabasa yung pagkasulat niyan eh. Anyway, personally, ang akin na naman dito is ang tanungan naman natin dito, kumusta po kayo? How do you rate yourselves? No? Before and after massage. Ngayon po, habang, habang nakaupo po kayo, how do you rate yourself? With uh, one as hindi comfortable, with five as very comfortable and relaxed. So, discardin nyo na lang. No? Basta ganun lang yung ating gagawing uh, range yung scaling na gagawin natin 
Yung least yung 1 and then highest yung 5. Nakuha niyo po yun. So yun na naman ang ano natin dyan. Kumusta po kayo? Ano po yung nararamdaman? No? At uh, kukunin nyo. Uh, or pwede nyo naman i i isulat na lang dito sa client response. Feels good. Yan. After the massage, ang kanyang naramdaman ay ay maganda, okay siya, okay yung kanyang nararamdaman. No? So the massage technique used is simply, ganun lang naman to, ang to, Swedish massage. Okay. So ganun lang kasimple itong ang pag-fill up natin ng post-evaluation form. Of course, huwag natin kalimutan yung pangalan na banggit na natin kanina. And then perhaps ilagay ninyo yung kanyang... Ayun, no? probably the date of the massage. So something like that. Okay. So ganun lang kasimple ang pag-fill up natin ng, ng form, particularly dito sa post-massage evaluation form. Okay, ulitin natin na as much as possible, you try to simplify things, bilisan natin, and then just put the keywords. Keywords lang, ha? huwag tayong maggumawa ng mabang sentence, even a paragraph. Keywords lang ilagay natin para mabilis yung ating uh, proseso. Among all these forms, ang pinaka medyo critical lang sa tingin ko ay yung parte ng pagkuha ng vital signs because that could make or break your examination. No? As I said, kapag nandaya kayo, pwede kayong palabasin na lang ng assessor no? without you knowing it. Okay. So Del, may tanong ka Del, Rudel? Do you have any question? Wala naman kayong tanong on this? Wala so, naman. Kung wala, tayong, oo, wala naman. As I said kanina, hindi naman siya gaano big deal talaga. Pero it, it, it really pays na medyo professional din yung dating. No? Yung inyong pagkukuha ng mga information coming from your client. Okay, so kung wala ng tanong, then we proceed now sa next part ng ating presentation for today, which is I'll be asking volunteers coming from your group uh, regarding your spiel, no? Paano yung inyong presentation? And then uh, kahit na basahin nyo lang yung inyong spiel, it will be okay with me para lang makita ko. But hanggat maaari, magpakita po kayo na inyong video presentation Wag kayong magtatago para makita ko din kung how how you ano yung kumusta naman yung inyong facial expression when you do your spiel. Okay, any volunteer? Sino mauna? Sir, ako na lang muna. Ah, sige, ah, si Ma'am muna lang, Jen, madam. Eh. <laughs> uh, uh, Jen, pakiulit mo. Ah, si Ma'am na lang muna uh, daw, sir. Sige, 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 sige. So, Edit, edit. Oh, sige, edit. Yes, sir. Ako muna, sir. Edit, go ahead. Yes, sir. Naririnig na ako, sir. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. I'm examining number 008. And I'm here to take my practical and oral exam. Narito po ang aking permit. Ma'am, maaari ko na po bang ihanda ang aking mga okay. gamit? para sa aking mas para sa massage. Go ahead. Okay. Ma'am, tapos na po na ihanda ang aking mga gamit sa pagmamasahe. Maari ko Tuloy. na bang papasukin yung aking client? Go ahead. Hi ma'am, welcome po sa aming spa. Mm. Maupo muna kayo ma'am. Ma'am, mm. maari ko pang malaman kung anong concern niyo sa pagpunta dito? Napagod at na-stress lang ako sa work. Ah, okay po. Maari po. Yes. Maari po ka bang makuha yung mga uh, mga ano nyo, uh, information nyo. Pangalan po. Uh, edad po. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, edition po po. Hanan po po kayo ng vital signs. Ma'am, nice po. Ayon po sa inyong indi indicators, ma'am, uh, inormal naman po ang ibig sabihin nito, fit kayo sa pagmamasaj. So, bibigyan ko na po kayo ng treatment. Maari, ko na, maari na po kayong dumapa sa massage table. 
Very good. Mm. There are five basic strokes of massage. They are the infrared, petrissage, friction, tapotement, and vibration. The first basic stroke of massage is infrared. Infrared came from the French word uh, infure, which means to glide. It is a gliding movement repeatedly following the contour of the body using palm, mm -hmm. knuckles, fingertips, and forearms. Mm -hmm. Rationally, it is used to introduce touch, applying lubricant, and it's preferred as a transition stroke. Benefits. It relaxes the muscle when done slowly and moderately into the body. First variation is 100. It has three sub-variations, the raking, and ironing, and circling. Raking is the first fingertips or five fingertips together apart with pressure. Ironing, dip using palm, forearms, and fist. Circular, palm gliding on the skin on circular motion. The second variation is two handed. Mm. Using both hands, gliding on the skin simultaneously. Mm. It has two sub variations the heart shape and the circular. Heart shape it is a long, deep stroke done using both hands in heart shape motion. Circular, one hand over or beside. The other in circular motion. The third variation is alternate hand. It has two sub variations the raking and circular. Raking, same oh. as 100. Go ahead, edit. The fourth variation is nerve stroke, feather like finger tracing. The second basic stroke massage is petricides. It came from the French word petrir, which mm. means to knead or kneading. It is a cycle rhythmic, lifting, squeezing, releasing of tissue. Rationale, the hand is in a C formation <clears throat> while performing the stroke. Benefit, it helps to release the stiffness of the muscle into the body. First variation is one handed. It is a simple clump squeeze. Second variation is, ha is two handed with two sub variation the praying hands and the ocean wave. Praying hands is two finger is together while squeezing palm upward. Ocean wave, palm gliding on the skin on separate variation in separate opposite direction. Third variation is alternate hand, grasp and release. Fourth variation is pulling. Palm, thumb, palm and thumb pressure separately while moving upward. The fifth var variation is skin rolling, lifting skin in a superficial fascia while low down wire force involved. The third basic stroke of massage is friction. Friction came from the Latin word picari, means to rub, also known as rubbing. It is a compressing of tissue in several directions using sliding hands, open hand, fingers, or knuckles back and forth over the skin or deeper tissue layer, usually dry, or without oil. Rationale, it is used often to areas with little or no blood supply to areas to lack muscle bulk. First variation is superficial warming. <clears throat> Palm move briskly opposite in opposite direction. Sub variation is sewing using the owner edge of the hand gliding along the scapula or any bony area of the body. Second variation, rolling, hold limb with open hands, back and forth 
in distal to proximal. Third variation is ringing. Grasp firmly while twisting in opposite direction. The fourth variation is cross fiber. Finger movement uh, move in perpendicular to muscle fibers with moderate to heavy pressure. Six, uh, six variation is circular, circular. Small circular movements that glide superficial tissue over underlying tissue, tissues. <clears throat> the fourth basic stroke of massage is tapotement. Tapotement is came from the French word tapoter, which means to tap. Also known as precaution, it is a repetitive staccato striking move, movement of simultaneously or alternately using ulnar surface of hand, fingertips, open palm, cup palm, uh, loosely closed fist. Rationale, it may be di directly applied to the skin or through a, a drink while avoiding heavy stroke over the kidneys. Benefit, it helps to increase in the flow of blood circulation. Rationale, it may be directly up. First variation is tapping, using fingertips on one hand and both hands. It has three sub variation, the punctuation, the pulsing, and raindrops. Red punctuation known as hand tap. Pulsing, alternate deep light tap. Uh, raindrop, raindrop, a very light fingertip tap skin in different light, in, in different and different times. Second variation is pinchment. Skin is lifted by grasping quickly, point and striking. Some variation called blocking. Skin is lifted slowly, fully at the point of striking. Third variation is hacking. Chopping using the ulnar edge of one, one both hand with finger relax. Sub variation is quacking. Uh, striking with three finger tips, uh, reducing quacking sound when done along the muscles and the benefit is relaxation. When done across the muscles, the benefit is micro-contraction. Fourth variation is coughing. Cup hands loosely phlegm in the chest cavity may induce coughing. Fifth variation is pounding. Loosely fit, beat, moderate in strength. A sub variation uh, rapping. When applied, palm down. Sixth variation is clapping. Palm striking, skin, palm striking skin with alternate stroke simultaneously. Seventh variation uh, is diffuse. diffuse. Uh, sir, dahil, uh, dahil ang client ay nakadapa, so maaari ko bang gawin ito sa aking chan? Uh, Lay palm on the surface, on the skin, alternate stroke. The fifth basic stroke is vibration. Vibration came from the Latin word by uh, Biblio, meaning shaking. Other, ter um, other term is shaking. It is a rapid shaking, quiver quivering, trembling, or rocking movement applied with fingertips or full hand. 
rationale, performing vibration correctly needs coordination and practical. It is the most practical demanding massage stroke. First variation is fine, fine finger, fine, fine finger, stream bling the skin, fingers, wrist rigid, gliding along the skin. Uh, second variation is jostling, rhythmic and vigorous shaking back and forth. Third variation is coarse, grass and most proximal point and slide down distant, distally. The fourth variation is rocking, push and catch motion. That session now will uh, say, go to mm. proceed now to post massage. Mm. Ma'am, tapos na po tayo sa pagmamasahe. Maari na po kayong pagpahinga sandali at babalik ang kita maya-maya ng sandali. Ma'am, tapos na po ang pagmamasahe. Ma uh, pwede na po kayong tumagilid para uh, may... Uh, edit, 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 edit. Yes, Oo. sir. Ang una mo sinabi, ang una mo sinabi, at tapos na ang massage, magpahinga. Ang pangalawang dapat mong sabihin, tapos na ang pahinga, maaari na po kayo magtagilid para i-assist ko kayo sa pagtayo. Ah, okay. Ako amo? Mm, sige, proceed. Ma'am, tapos na po kayo magpahinga, pwede na po kayong tumagilid para maiwasan po ang pagtahido. At i-assist mm. ko na po kayo sa inyo uh, dahan-dahang pagtayo. Opo. Uh, leading the client to sit while the, the assessor, uh, assessment after the massage. Ma'am, kumusta na po ang inyong uh, pakiramdam? Mm -hmm. Para ma-validate po ang inyong nararamdaman uh, during massage po, from 0 to 10, uh, sa sobrang sakit na nararamdaman o... Uh, 6 to 10 po. Ay, ay 0 to 10 po. Uh, death ma, de, ma, edit ma, haba masyado ang 10. 1 to 5 na lang. With uh, the 1 as uh, less comfortable and then very comfortable. So 5. Parang ganun lang. Simplify mo lang. Okay. Sige, sir. Noted, sir. Uh, Pagkatapos po ng massage, ma'am, from 0 to 5, al uh, ano po kayo dito, ma'am? Uh, With 0 as less comfortable? Uh, less comfortable. And 5 as very comfortable. 5 as very. Very comfortable, sir? Oh. Okay. Pagkatapos po ng massage, ma'am, from uh, 0 to 5, ano po kayo dito? Uh, less comfortable o uh, 5 is very comfortable? Comfortable. Ma'am, mas makakaputi po sana kung magkakaroon po tayo ng other treatment. Uh, dalawang beses po sa isang buwan, isang oras bawat sesyon. At kailangan din po ninyo uminom ng maraming tubig at mag-exercise at kumain ng mga masustansyang pagkain para po ma-include yung ating kalusutan. Uh, meron pa po ba kayong ibang concern, ma'am? Kung wala na, ma'am, uh, maaari ko na po ba kayong ihatid, ma'am, palapas? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, salamat sa pagpunta. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my presentation, the 5B6 Stroke of Masad. I'm Edith De Los Reyes, and my model is blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Edith, outside, Edith, 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 Sir, uh, na, nakalimutan mo yung pagliligpit ng gamit. Ay, oo. Diba? Oh. Oh. Sir, si, Mark, saan po yun? Yung, yun, diba, lumabas sa yung model mo. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta. And then, ah, oh. harapin mo si assessor. Sir, nakalabas na po yung aking model. Mari ko na bang ligpitin ang aking kagamitan sa pagmamasahe. Pag sinabi niyang go ahead, then ligpitin mo na yung mga gamit mo. 
no? eh, lipitin mo yon tapos yung linen, ilagay mo yun sa bag, and then humarap ka sa assessor, at sabi mo sa assessor, Sir, naligpit ko na po yung kagamitan sa pagmamasahe. Mari na ba akong lumabas? Ayun. Tapos uh, pag sinabi, go ahead, then lumabas ka na. O, pero yun nga, pwede ka. Sir, maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na binigay mo sa akin upang ako ay makapag-perform. And then labas ka na. Ah, okay. Sinundan ko kasi yung ano, sir. Alright. Uh, uh, salamat, uh, sir. Pagkatapos uh, 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 okay. po ng aking... Uh, so sasabihin ko, sir, pagkatapos na pag, pag uh, palabas ng aking aking yes, play, model, sir, uh, uh, sir na, na, natapos ko na po ang aking pagmamasahe. Pwede ko na po bang iligpit ang aking mga gamit sa pagmamasahe? Or, tapos, or, tapos, or mas maigi, sir, nakalabas na po yung aking client. No? Wag, wag mo na i-mention yung massage. Sir, nakalabas uh, okay. na po yung aking client. Oo. Aking... Uh, uh. Ah. Nandiyan mari ko na bang ligpitin yung kagamitan sa pagmamasahe. Okay. Six. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, Ako so si let's give edit uh five uh limang bagsak sa dalawa, tatlo, tatlo at apat. Lima. Okay. So congratulations hey, edit. Maraming salamat po. Oo. So ganun lang iano mo lang master mo lang 'yon at uh, I will suggest na wala si edit. Di, di, Uh, eh, I will suggest uh, i-share mo yung ano mo yung yung sa five basic strokes. Maganda yung pagka ano mo i-share mo sa group chat para pwede masundan ng iba yung yung pag-outline, yung rationale, benefit, ganon. I-share mo sa group chat para pwede sundan din ng iba. Okay, so ayun, that was well done, no? Na, na ano na kailangan lang master mo lang maigi. The way you presented, okay na 'yon. Kailangan okay. lang as I said kanina is uh, kailangan in your own words. No, para hindi ka mga pa pagka nakalimutan mo yung word, madali mo sa express kasi in your own words yung paggawa mo ng spiel, paggawa mo na yung script. Okay? So, uh, any question so far? Uh, doon sa presentation ni Edit, ang ganda nung ginawa niya, no? Uh, ano na 'yon? Kailangan i-master na lang, no? Uh, remark may tanong ka so far? Hello po. Nagkaroon lang ako sir, napansin ko lang doon kay ano, hindi ko po ano lang ha. Yung sa uh, ano niya po ni Ma'am Edit. Doon po sa para po ma-correct din. Sa tapot uh, med Okay. Ano yung observation mo uh, sa tapotment? Bali, ang ginawa niya lang po ay seven. Uh, baka may nakaligtaan. Okay. Yun lang kasi yung nasa video. Seven. Mm -mm -mm. Kasi di ba po eight yun? Di ba po din naman yun? Hindi lahat ma, ma ano? Lahat, hindi lahat ma mabanggit. Okay uh. lang, di ba? Okay, oh, yeah. wala na wala na ano 'yon. Uh, remark, okay lang 'yon, uh, hindi na masyadong uh -huh. ano, may, uh, hindi na masyadong bal malaking issue 'yon. Ang uh -huh. problema okay, lang, ko lang naman sir, napansin ko lang po, baka po uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that's a good point, remark. Ang uh, ang atin lang diyan is wag lang tayo magkamali doon sa arrangement, no? From efflorals, petrissage, friction, tapotment and vibration. 'Yun na importante. Dapat lahat 'yon ma-perform natin. I I do not expect na 100% na accurate kayo doon sa lahat ng yon pero at least yung working knowledge niyo is maganda at dire-diretso. Okay. Sir, so, mo na bang puntahan ng akin, Charot? <laughs> oh, ano, uh, Jen, okay okay sana kaso lang alauna pasado na tayo. Bilisan para marinig mo hindi na ako magana sa susunod. Oh, sige, bilisan mo. Okay, game. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, hello ma'am, good morning. Ako po si Junalyn Mayberg Common, number 008. I'm here to take the exam. Maari ko na po bang ayusin ang aking kagamitang pangmasahe? Go ahead. Yes. Ma'am, naligpit ko na po ang naayos ko na po ang aking kagamitang pag pagmamasahe. Pwede ko na po bang papasukin ang aking client? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Hello ma'am, good morning. Umupo po muna kayo ma'am. Ako po ang inyong therapist. I am Jen. Bago po ang lahat, ma'am, pwede ko po ba kayong kuhaan ng vital signs? Ako ako ng vital signs. Ayon sa aking pag-assist sa inyong vital signs, ma'am, okay naman po ang lahat. Fit po kayo sa ating massage. Ma'am, maaari ko na po bang pahigayin ng aking client? Go ahead. Ma'am, maaari na po kayong dumapa. 
There are five basic stroke of massage. The five basic stroke of massage is deplorage, petrissage, friction, taputment, and vibration. The first basic stroke of massage is deplorage. Came from French word deplorer, meaning to glide or slide, also known as gliding. It is unbroken gliding movement, repeated following the contour of the body, using the palms, knuckles, fingertips, and forearms. It is an rationale. It is used to introduce the touch, applying lubricant, and preferred as tra transition stroke. Benefits. It is to relax the client, address his place to painful, and reduce the mass and calm the nervous system when done slowly. First variation. There are three variations called breaking, ironing, and circular. Breaking. Two fingertips or five fingertips together apart with pressure. Ironing. Palm gliding. I, ha, di, uh, it is deep using it is deep using palm, forearms, or fist. Circular. Palm gliding on skin and circular motion. Second variation. Both hands. Both hands gliding on skin simultaneously, it has two separation called heart shape and circular. Heart shape. Long deep, long deep stroke done by moving, but done by moving both hands in heart shape motion. Circular. One hand over beside the other and circular motion. Third variation, alternate hand. It has two separation called raking and circular. Raking, same as 100, raking, but using two hands alternately. Circular, same as 100, circular, but using two hands alternately. Fourth variation, nerve stroke, either light finger tracing. Petrissage. Petrissage came from the French word petrier, meaning to need, also known as needing. It is a cycle of rhythmic lifting and squeezing and releasing of tissues rationale. The hand is in C formation while performing the stroke and the focus is on lifting the tissue rather than pinching it. Benefits. The benefits is working out the metabolic waste and reduce the muscle soreness and stiffness. First variation, 100, simple clump squeeze. Second variation, it has two separation called praying, praying hands and ocean waves. Praying hands. Feather light, finger, feather light, I finger trace, finger interlace, palm squeeze upward, ocean waves, gliding hands in opposite direction with compression. Third variation, alternate hands, press and release alternately. Fourth variation, pulling, thumb or palm pressure, thumb or palm, thumb or palm pressure moving. Separating while moving upward. Fifth variation, skin rolling. Skin is lifting skin in superficial fascia downward with no force involved. Friction. Came from the French word picari, meaning to rub, also known as rubbing. It is compressing, it is compressing tissues in several directions using sliding hands, open, open, open palm, Cup, I open palm, fingers, or knuckles back and forth over the skin or deeper tissue layers, usually dry with or without oil. Rationale, it is used of thin areas to ha that, have or that have little or no blood supply that lack muscles. Well. First variation, superficial warming, known as heat rub. Palms moving briskly in opposite direction, a separation called sewing. Sewing, Use, using the ulnar edge of the hand along the scapula, along the body, or any, any, body, any body areas of the body. Second variation, roll, uh, skin rolling, hold limb with open hands back and forth from distal to proximal. Third variation, cross fiber. Deep transfer, deep transfer, friction finger movements and per perpendicular muscles fiber with moderate and to heavy pressure. 
Part variation, ringing, grasped firmly and twi while twisting in opposite direction. Fifth variation, chucking, deep transverse friction, same direction muscles, tendon and ligamentos, or thumbs or finger move back and forth. Sixth variation, circular, small circular movement that glides over facial fascia, superficial facial superficial tissue or underlying tissue. Tapote. Came from the French word tapoter, meaning to tap, also known as tapping. It is repetitive, it is repetitive staccato, sliding, striking movements of the hands simultaneously or alternately using the owner face of the hand, fingers of open open cup, palm, or loosely closed fist. Rationally, it may be applied directly to the skin or through a drape with avoiding heavy, heavy stroke over the kidneys. Benefits. It stimulates the nerves in being, making it move sedative and continue itself to increase blood flow. Dito akong din siya dinimorize. Perspiration, tapping. Using the fingertips or both hands with variation speed, it has variation called punctuation. Punctuation, pulsing, and raindrops. Punctuation, known as the hard tapping. Pulsing, alternate light tap. Raindrops, feather light fingers. Tap on skin. Tap on skin in at different times. Second variation, pinchment. Skin is lifted and grasping quickly at the point of striking. It has two, it has a variation called plucking. Plucking. Skin is lifted slowly and fully at the point of striking. Third variation. Hacking. Chop using the ulnar, ulnar edge of the hand with fingers relaxed. It has a variation called quacking. Quacking. Strike with three fingers, producing quack sounds when done along the, when, when done along the muscles. Fourth variation. Tapping. Tapping top hands of loosened limb, congestion, and chest cavity induced coughing. Fifth variation. Pounding. Loose fist beating with moderate strength. It has a variation called wrapping. Wrapping when, da when applied down, when applied palm down. Sixth variation. Clapping. Both hands striking the skin simultaneously. It has a variation called slapping. Slapping. Palm striking then the skin with alternate stroke. Se seven variation. Diffuse. Lay palmar surface on the skin while striking back and forth of the hands. Diffuse force move across the, the surface. Mama, maaari ko po bang gawin sa aking sarili ang diffuse? Ay, nakalimutan ko yung diffuser. <laughs> Mm. Ito na ako sa variation. Okay. Uh, ano sa vibration. Vibration came from the French word vibrio, meaning to shake, also known as shaking. It is a rapid shaking, trembling, uh, quivering, trembling, or rocking movements applied with finger, fingertips or full hands. Rationale, performing vibration correctly needs coordination and and practice, it is physically demanding stroke. Benefits, it is to stimulate the peristaltic movement and move the gastro gastrointestinal tract. First variation, fine. Fingers trembling the skin, fingers and rigid gliding along. Second variation, jostling, rhythmic and vigorous, shaking back and forth. Third variation, first, rest and rest at most proximal, proximal and slide down distally. Fourth variation, rocking, push and catch motion. Um, tapos na po. Uh, that's the five basic stroke of massage. Uh, Ma, maaari na po kayong... Tapos na ako, sir, no? Hmm, pahinga na. Pahinga na yung model. Ma, maaari na po kayong magpahinga. Balikan ko po kayo maya-maya sa lip. Uh, Ma'am, tapos na po ang iyong pagpapatina. Uh, 
i-assist ko po sa i-assist ko po kayo sa inyong pagtayo. Dahan-dahan po para ma, po kayo. Ma, 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 ano, ang sabi mo muna is mag-ari po ito magilid, no? Sideline muna siya. Huwag pa tayo nag ano, sideline. Ah, Ma'am, tapos na po ang iyong pagpapahinga. Maari po mo, ah, maari po kayong tumagilid Tumag para maiwasan yeah. ang pagkahilo. I-assist ko po kayo sa inyong pagtayo. Hmm. Ah, Ma'am, Maari ko na po bang natin ang aking client, ang aking kliyente? Go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Sana po ay magkita tayo ulit. Maraming salamat. Ma'am, makaalis na po ang aking kliyente. Maari ko na po bang inisin ang aking paggamit ng pangmasahe? Go ahead. Ah, ma'am, nalinis ko na po at naligpit ang aking paggamit ng pangmasahe. Maari na po ba akong lumabas? Okay, go ahead. Maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na ibigay niyo sa akin man to take the exam. Have a good day. Okay, very nice, no? Uh, limbak baksak ulit. Okay, maganda na 'yon. Okay na 'yung ano, uh, at least dire-diretso naman 'yung ginawa mo, Jen. Uh, very minor lang naman 'yung mga errors, pero yes, generally, maganda 'yung pagkabigkas mo, dire-diretso at uh, walang ano, wala masyadong gaps, no? Ang ano ko lang doon is instead of gamit mo yung term na linis, kasi hindi ka naman maglilinis eh, liligpitin ah, okay. mo na lang. Maaari ko bang ligpitin ang kagamitan sa pagmamasahe? Okay? So gusto ko yung add-on mo paghuli na maraming salamat sa binigyan yung pagkakataon upang ako ay makapag-perform and have a good day. So, yun, very beautiful. No? Beautifully set. Ganda, no? So sana magaya din ng iba yung presentation mo. It's a wonderful way of doing it. Kulang na lang i-execute mo yung mga binigkas mo na mo. mo. Ha? Okay. Sige, maraming salamat, Jen. Kung wala nang tanong yung iba. Remark, may tanong ka pa? Wala na? Si Rodel? May, tan may tanong ka, Rodel? Ah, wala naman. Nakamute ka, Rodel. Eh. Zelda, Zelda, may tanong ka? Nakamute ka rin, Zelda. Nakamute ka. Wala na, sir. Okay na po. Magpa-practice na lang kami. Pausa ko ngayon. <laughs> sige, sige, sige. Okay, maraming salamat. Okay, and uh, practice nyo na maigi. And then para may ano nyo na yun. And, uh, edit, salamat din sa presentation mo. And the others, no? Pagbutihin nyo para talagang wala na tayong kawala doon sa DOH examination. Okay? Sige po. So, God bless. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Bye. You. Okay. Thank Arigato. You, Arigato. Arigato, kajaymas. Hi. Arigato.